We are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and in this series we head on a tour of South West Scotland in Rennie, our motorhome. In this episode we head to Dalbeatie Forest to explore on foot and by bike and stay on a campsite with a very special guest. So it's a new day, we dodged the overnight rain, very heavy rain, um, it's turned a little bit chilly but today we've come out to Dalbeatie Forest, um, I'm going to take the dogs for a little walk and Sean's going to check out the red mountain bike trail on his bike. Um, so yeah, so hopefully the sun will keep shining and we'll have a good day. I'm actually uh, super excited because one of the things I uh, wanted to do, I wanted to see in Scotland was um, well I wanted to see red deer and I wanted to see a red squirrel. Now we live in Dorset so we have Brown Sea Island which has a population of red squirrels um, and red squirrels are quite protected um, and so far we've been here in Scotland for about just under two weeks now and I haven't seen one but this morning on the campsite um, I noticed there was like a bird feeder or a squirrel feeder by one of the caravans and there was a red squirrel on it so they're tiny I didn't believe how small they are compared to greys but yeah so cute so hopefully when we get back to the campsite later the sun will still be shining and I can get my camera out and maybe try and get a few photos that'd be nice So Dalbeatie Forest car park or the Seven Stains car park which is the mountain bike car park allows camper vans and motorhomes overnight. Got the sign up there so again it's just two all day tickets so you pay £6 overnight and then £3 for parking in, in the daytime and it's um, it's pretty good. It's, there's a tap, there's some toilets just there um, and the car park's pretty big I mean this is one section of it. And I'll show you the other sections in a minute. Also, I think down this little path down here, you can get to the local tea room, which is handy. So that's a big parking space there. That's another one on this side. And you'll see as we go up, there's various different little bits that are big enough for motorhomes and camper vans. And I don't know if you can see Rennie, but he's just hiding in the trees just up there the section down there by the pay meter she will go to the tap well, here's the tap and here's Rennie you can see he's in a quite a good spot and then just up there is the entrance to all the mountain bike trails so you can't get any closer even if you tried right let's go and wash these muddy feet now Morning, so we're in Delbiti Forest today. Uh, I'm gonna do the red, which is the hard rock trail. I believe they have a competition here every year. It looks like they've got the 17th 
Del Beatty Hard Rock Challenge. So uh, it looks like I'm doing the same trail. So uh, I'm going to head off uh, on the e-bike and uh, I'll take you along with me. Very natural. Is it? Yeah, there's no no bike park sections at all. It's like uh, similar to Dragon's Back at Cody Bennett and there's a massive slab right in the middle. I know. It's, oh, I don't uh, know if that's the one I found. It's massive. It's huge. Is that on the red, is it? I thought it was on yeah. the black. Well, it's the black section of the mm. red, but yeah, so I, I did it a little bit, but yeah, it's um all right next. All right, hello Lou. Um it's um if you're doing blues and you want to try a red, don't do this one. <laughs> if you like if you're competent on reds and blacks and you want to challenge yourself, then this is a good oh. a good uh, trail. But yeah, it's pretty full on. You enjoy it's it though? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really challenging. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm knackered now. There you are. <laughs> so it's my turn. I'm just going to go and uh, give the taste of the loop a bit of a go. I think I'm already on it actually. The Blue Taster Loop is a two and a half mile loop and is 75% single track. Compared to the other blue graded trails I've ridden, this is probably the hardest trail centre blue I've ever attempted. Due to this, I decided to not do the full blue trail as I was nervous about being out of my depth, on my own and far away from the van and Sean. are new to mountain biking or just want to give it a go I would suggest either trying the taster loop first before heading out on the larger blue trail or giving the family friendly green trail a go first. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's harder than any blue yeah. I've done. I know they, they are, aren't they? Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Hi. So the last couple of days we've been staying at this campsite, which is just outside Dalbiti, and we've been going mountain biking at Dalbiti Forest. You can stay at the car park there, but we decided with the weather being 
so bad over the last 24 hours we didn't risk it so we thought we'd come to a nice hard standing pitch the rennie's got his home there and um just to make sure we were we were safe um so yeah that's what we've done and it's been raining all day and it's now five o'clock and the sun's come out so it's brilliant isn't it um so i'm just gonna show you what this campsite's like it's really really nice it's quite cheap actually as well it's like under 20 quid a night it might be different in the uh, summer months um, but there's obviously plenty of other caravans in here most of them are seasonal pictures I think um, so I'll take you on a bit of a wander so you've got all the usual facilities ladies toilets and showers water point Elson point and then I think down here we've got a disabled shower room and some laundry, laundry room. There's bins over this side, nice telephone box and reception's just there. And they've got this awesome little games room as well which is quite cool just show you in we got lots of information and some books and a table football and pool and table tennis at the back there and lots of books that you can share so that's pretty cool so there's something to do in the rain and the best thing about this whole site i should show you hello yes these two hello donkey hello how are you hello oh and off she goes off she goes hello 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 so there's two donkeys and there's two horses isn't there horses oh be careful Barbara. yeah there's uh, two donkeys and two horses two little ponies one's a Shetland pony I don't know where they are probably hiding out of the rain and the other super special thing about this little campsite is oh be careful that's it but there's red squirrels I saw one yesterday also a little kiddies playground for those who want to bring the kids it's quite nice so also this site is dog friendly and they've actually got a big dog walk down um, where the static caravans are um, and the mobile homes are which is a really lovely area just around a little pond but that's a bit of a trek so I'm not going to go down there just now yeah so we're moving on tomorrow we're heading off to maybe forest tomorrow um, to do some more mountain biking hopefully the weather is looking good so we hopefully won't get too soggy um yeah so we'll catch up tomorrow join us next time to find out why mrs grumpy grant comes out at maybe forest and to check out my excellent scottish accent